Welcome to Graphics TV, your source for graphic design tips and tutorials. Here is your host, Mac. In this video, I'm going to show you how I designed the AutoWorks logo. Okay, we're going to start here with the, um, with the design brief. So here we can see the client wanted a logo which will be used on the web, on the signage, uniform, business cards, etc. And they suggested the colors of red, yellow, and black. And they also mentioned that they wanted the X in the AutoWorks to be spanners crossed. Anyway, so what I did is I started off by going to the internet just to look at uh, other auto companies to see what sort of logos they have. So all I did is I just went and searched for auto repair logos. And then I went to the images. So normally I do this step just to see what the competition is doing and just to make sure I don't design anything that's been designed before. Okay, so here we can see a trend of these logos that have a car. So already you can see there's quite a few. Here's another one. And we can also see a lot of spanners. Okay, so what I did is I went on and started sketching. So I started off by, you know, sketching. At this stage, I'm only messing around, uh, nothing serious, but at the same time, I'm trying to generate ideas. So after the sketching, what I did is I started looking at the type. I started playing around with the capital letter on both the auto and the works. It looks like I finally settled for this one. It's called Eurostyle. All right, so the next stage was the design stage. This is where I started designing the symbol. So I will show you now how I designed this symbol. Okay, so I'm just gonna create a new layer. Right, so what I need is a hexagon. And I'm gonna make sure I fill that in with black or dark gray. Okay, so next I need a circle. So I'm gonna to go to the ellipse tool and just draw a circle. And then I'm also going to need a rectangle. So once I've got all these three shapes, shapes, I'm going to re I'm going to group these shapes, change these colors so you can see the shapes. Okay? I'm going to bring this shape to the front. So I'm going to hold down the control key and then press the bracket key. Right. So what you want to do is just select all the shapes and then come to this shape builder tool and then just click so what we need to do now is to hold on the alt key and then you can see we get a minus on there so we need to subtract and then we just need to click and drag to combine these shapes right so now we've got our spanner so the next step is to create another circle okay i'm just going to rotate this okay i'm just going to drag this over as you can see, it's behind the circle, so I'm going to hold down the command key, control on PC, and click the uh, the right bracket key, like so. Okay, so I've selected both shapes. So what I need to do is to align. Okay, so now that we've got these shapes, I need to separate the spanner from the circle. So I'm going to click and highlight both shapes, and go to the Shape Builder tool. Right, so I'm going to hold down the Alt key, to minus that shape and then the top as well so there you have it so that's our spanner while i was looking at this i was thinking to myself okay this the uh, the font that really works with this is this euro style and to create a bit of motion i i chose the italis version of it here we have this unique symbol in the middle now the reason why i went on with this with this symbol is because it looks like a w at the same time, it looks like a spanner, which you can see right in the middle, and it looks like a steering wheel, which goes with the auto part of uh, what the company does. So I think it was creative. It's not very complicated, but um, it does bring that uniqueness to the logo. Okay, so finally, we have the logo in color. And here we can see that the logo works well in black and also white on black. And these are one of the keys uh, one of the key elements that you need when designing a logo. The logo has to work well 
on different backgrounds. So now this symbol can also be used without the type. That's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching. Visit graphicstv.com for more tips and tutorials.